Hey guys, what's going on? It's Seth Krug back again with another video. Today I'm going to be going over some workouts and exercises that you guys can do to help you prepare for Marine Corps or any military boot camp because a lot of them use similar exercises and workouts as far as PT and for their actual, uh, at least in the Marine Corps, it's called a PFT and CFT, the fitness tests. So I'm going to be giving you guys the exercises that you need to do and some tips and tricks to make the exercises harder for you while you're back at home so that while you're in boot camp they're easier for you. If you guys don't know me already, like I said, my name is Seth Krug. I was in the Marine Corps. I was an 0311 rifleman with the unit Victor 1-2 and if you guys like the channel please share it with anybody that's going to boot camp or in the Marine Corps and interested in fitness because that's what I'm here for to help you guys out with boot camp <clears throat> while you're in um, how to fit in meals, easy to do snacks and meals and stuff to help you put on muscle and gain weight. And yeah, so like the video if you enjoy it. Uh, share the channel, like I said, and comment down below any videos you guys wanna see regarding fitness, um, military related stuff as far as like boot camp, the actual fleet, like whenever you're in, what it's like. Um, I went on a Mew so I can talk about what that's like. Whatever, just comment down below what you guys want to see and I will be happy to share it. But other than that, let's get started with the video and I will see you guys in a few. So the first workout or exercise that we're going to be going over are pull-ups. And the Marine Corps PFT is a pretty big exercise. Um, I think to get it perfect, you need to get like 21 or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But uh, essentially, while you're at home, you have the time to make the workouts harder so that whenever you get into boot camp, they're gonna be a lot easier. So whenever it comes to pull-ups, instead of just doing a bunch of them really fast, you're gonna to wanna to do them nice and slow and controlled on the way up, hold for two to three seconds, and then go slow on the way down, maybe three second negative, something like that. That way your muscle's getting used to the fatigue and you build some muscle endurance. So I'm gonna do one on this uh, door frame right here for you guys real quick just to show you what I mean. <clears throat> so as you guys saw uh, instead of just going really fast up and down, I did it really nice and controlled. And you're gonna wanna do that because whenever you get to boot camp, as long as your chin is up over the bar, you come to a complete dead hang, that counts as one. And you can do those as fast as you can. So if while you're at home before boot camp, you do them nice and slow and controlled, if you can do 21 of those nice controlled ones, essentially, whenever you go to do them in boot camp, and you can do them fast, you're gonna be able to do a lot more, maybe 25 to 30, since your muscles are used to being under a lot more um, tension for a longer period of time. So that's how you wanna do those. <clears throat> so that's how you're gonna to wanna to do those. And another thing that's gonna help is maybe add weight, a weighted vest, um, chains, a belt with a plate attached to it. Anything like that is gonna help because your muscles are getting used to a heavier weight. So whenever you go to do your actual body weight in boot camp, it's gonna be lighter and your muscles are gonna be like, oh shit, <laughs> I can knock these out really fast because this is a lighter weight. It's kind of like if you're doing curls with 35s, you might be able to do whatever, 10 or 12, then you grab 15s, you can do like 25 or 30. You know what I mean? So whenever you're at home, take that time that you have to do them slow, correct and a lot of time under tension to help build that muscle endurance. So now we're gonna do sit-ups. Uh, that's another part of the PFT in the Marine Corps. And basically while you're home, it's gonna be the same general concept. Instead of just knocking out, you know, a bunch really fast, you're gonna to wanna to do it really nice and slow. Maybe hold. Go slow on the way down, slow on the way up. Whenever you're doing these in boot camp, you have to grab your biceps, elbows up, touch knees, like that. 
<clears throat> so, uh, another way to make these easier in boot camp, you can add weight, hold a, um, a weighted ball or a dumbbell or something while you're doing the sit-ups. Same concept as the pull-ups. It's uh, gonna be heavier weights and you're gonna do them in boot camp and you're using only your body weight, your muscles are gonna be able to do more. All right guys, so now next thing you're gonna wanna work on, huge part of boot camp, obviously running. Um, the PFT is three miles, so I would say while you're at home, try to be able to run like five miles, so it's a lot easier than you to run that three miles. And just like I was saying with, <laughs> cat's in the way, um, just like I was saying with everything else, if you add weight, it's gonna be easier with your body weight. So if you buy like a weighted vest or better yet, some kind of pack that you can put weight into, it's gonna be a lot easier because, uh, and then something else you're gonna do in boot camp are hikes with a weighted pack as well. <clears throat> so to prepare for that, I would get some kind of weighted vest maybe, or even like a pack, like I said, that you can put weight into because that's gonna resemble the hike better because the weight is in your back rather than all around your body but either way it's going to help those leg muscles and stuff get used to going with that extra weight so another exercise i'd work on because not only you're going to be doing like pft and cft and stuff but you're going to be doing pts so uh that's going to include like circuits usually so push-ups um they do a lot of like buddy carrying uh, in case like one of your boys gets shot or something in combat, you put them on your back and you can carry them around. So uh, to resemble that, if you have some kind of sandbag or something that you can throw up on your shoulders and do like lunges and uh, lunges, squats, you know, stuff like that, that's going to help you a lot with those. Um, and basically, <clears throat> and if you're doing weight training in the gym, uh, you know, obviously like dumbbells, barbells, all that stuff. Uh, make sure you're doing, you know, fast paced workouts, be in the gym for maybe 30 to 45 minutes because your rest period should be maybe 20 seconds, something like that. That way your muscles are building muscle endurance so they can basically go for a longer period of time because that's a lot of what boot camp is, quick, fast paced stuff because you're always moving. So that's pretty much everything that I would work on and recommend. Um, I would do all the pull-up stuff with weight training. That way you're getting really nice and strong. And I would focus on strength and muscle endurance rather than building your muscles bigger. Uh, they'll naturally get bigger as you get stronger and stuff, but not as much as if you were training specifically to get them big rather than strong, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> so those are a couple of my recommendations for workouts and exercises and some tips and tricks to get ready for boot camp. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer them. And if I get enough of the same one, I'll be happy to make a whole other video on the subject. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I hope it helps some people out and I will see you guys in the next video.